Why, hello there, Mark. Hello, Colin. Welcome to the Grape Depression. Why, thank you. So what do you have for me today? All right, so we drink wines here, right? I was trying to think how can I connect, can I, how can I connect my daily activity to you and to us, this channel here. So I went on a little hike this morning, right? Yeah, you and did. And so there's some cool things mm -hmm. uh, with hikes. You know, you're in the outdoors. Uh, there's lots of trees. There's mountains. Beautiful clouds. You do come across some creatures too, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Uh, there's raccoons. A lot of a lot of birds. A lot of bugs. A lot, a lot of bugs. I'm trying to, I'm trying to connect everything. Yeah, no, you'll connect the dots. It's okay. Also, like I said, drink a lot of wine. And you, I believe, have gone to some nice wineries around here. So say you've been to <laughs> Heritage, right? The winery? Yes. All right. Well, uh, let me ask you if you've uh, had Baritage. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh, uh, that's, that's a really cute bear. It is a cute bear. Oh, and he's holding a little berry. Oh, my God. Oh, what is this? Oh, nestled between the San Francisco Bay and the Sierra Nevada Mountains. Lottie Wine Country is well known for producing full flavored wines that are soft and supple on the palate. Mm. <laughs> for over 150 years, Lottie Vineyards have been tended by fifth generation farming families who have made this growing area a rising star. Please enjoy our old vine, Zinfandel. This wine is a perfect companion to food or delicious all on its own. So not any specific food, just food. food. <laughs> just food. That's actually a pretty normal description. It is. Too, it is. is kind of nice. Which is reassuring-ish, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the fact that it just says it pairs with everything. Also... <laughs> Is yeah, that it? he's, he's holding the, the berry. It's oh, it's, it's a claw holding the berry! Oh, uh, it's gonna be another cork to our beautiful uh, um, collection. collection. Isn't that wonderful? So far, a squeaky cork. All right, what do we have in the cork? We have very basic looking... Oh, no, wait, no, there's a bear on it! <gasps> oh, there's a bear. <laughs> Bear confirmed calling, bear confirmed. It is literally- Surrounded by grapes too, I like that. Yeah. This- Join the den, it says. Join the den. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, I'm- Oh, okay. Baritage. I- mm. <laughs> Not sure if I'm happy, sad, I don't know what kind of uh, emotions I'm feeling from the name, but... It's a name, all right. I mean, honestly, this, this doesn't look, not look bad at no. first glance. I mean, no. <laughs> it's a play on word. It's a cute play on word. The description doesn't have anything too scary, because you told me you have one really scary wine in uh, in reserve, coming, right? Yes. I mean, that's a pretty interesting one to myself. Hmm. Yeah. Fairly uh, strong odor. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what's the smell? Grape. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> I think it's just a... Yeah, I think it's just berries. It's a pretty good uh, berry scent on yeah. that one. <clears throat> Doesn't feel too strong. No, oh, let's Maybe see. a little cherry, but... Berry, cherry... <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. It's pretty underwhelming in my opinion. That's an interesting, interesting one, because for what feels like it's just a taste that isn't great. It's not a great taste in my opinion. The but flavor. At least I'm getting a, a taste versus just alcohol. It, exactly. So it's not like there's too much alcohol right. or it's just it's just flavor is is isn't great. Um there is a flavor. You can feel the, yeah. the wave of flavor. Like you, you get the initial hit, then you get the alcohol because it's still a cheap wine, and then it goes and then it comes up fairly quickly with definitely cherry at the end. Yeah. The ending, like, the, the finish is very, very cherry. But it's not very, I mean, alcohol-wise, it's not very overwhelming. No, it's like not some too of the, overwhelming. Like some of the most recent ones we've had were mm -hmm. very like that. I feel like I can actually sip this one. I agree it doesn't have a ton of flavor, but honestly, I'm not too upset about it. No, just I just kind of, I just see, like, all stages of it. Like, the beginning is just that weird flavor, then the alcohol, then the cherry at the top. Cherry on top. Yeah, but I'm getting I'm getting taste every time I taste it, even though it's not much. 
it's just not I, I'm not a fan of it it's, it's it's not my kind of wine it's lacks a lot so I'm gonna give it a four four yeah a four it's cool I think this is our widest split I'm gonna give it a six yeah. all right I thought it was decent I'm not crazy about it but it was just there and I like the bear Bear gets an extra point. Oh, the bear? The, you, that is a <laughs> no, good no, bear. No, 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 I'm keeping my four, but I forgot the bear did that. So for a bear, it's, it's, it's pretty good. You know, it's probably the most, uh, the most Sauvignon bear I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's the baritage, people. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Nice, nice find. Nice find. Thank you, my friend. Well, I am uh, sure looking forward to seeing what you bring next time on... The Great Depression. Yes, you are right. <laughs> <laughs> you are not ready for mine. Mine's is pretty epic. 